I used to be a firefighter, a wildland firefighter, so it's kind of different. I fought fires in the summer and partying in the winter, and even during fire season, you know, I just, I, 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 I partied a lot. Obviously, that, that lifestyle and that mentality of being a firefighter, I guess you build an ego that, you know, you're invincible and you can do whatever you want. And, and that mentality transferred over into my own personal life. Me and a buddy of mine, um, he's actually my best friend. We kind of linked up. You know, we decided, that, hey, let's go, uh, you know, go down and party in Mexico. You know, it's college night. So obviously we both were drinking. I gave him the keys and that night on our way to, to Mexico, uh, we, we didn't make it. The car fell off a cliff. From what they're saying, it was like 60 feet. And I got ejected out of the car about 25 feet. I remember just looking up and I'm like, uh, what's going on? And you know, the reality of being paralyzed didn't even hit me. I didn't even know what, what that meant. It was, it was tough, especially for my mom. My attitude is the way it is is because there was a look in her eyes that I saw that, you know, it was just a helpless look. And ever since then, that's kind of what motivated me to recover. During that time where I did get hurt, I was, you know, just friends with somebody. It just kind of went from there and, you know, we eventually started dating. You're in a chair, you're in this situation, and you found somebody that doesn't care about that. I thought it was a good thing, but at the same time, it was kind of a crutch as well. When uh, that relationship ended, um, I was motivated to be better. I told myself, I'm gonna look for a job, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna start getting into bodybuilding. And I was just so motivated to, 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 be, to be better, to be somebody. That was the reason why I was motivated to do my first show. I, you know, I don't think I've never told anyone that. I think you're the only one that I'm, I, I, I'm telling this to. Back in 2005, if you were gonna ask me this, you know, nine, 10 years ago, I, you know, I, I would have had no idea that this is the kind of thing that I'd be getting into. It is possible to, to, to be healthy, to be fit, to, to, to look good, and even, even though you have a disability, you know, it's possible. Basically, I, I compete to promote myself, um, to, to inspire and encourage people and, and, to, and to motivate people. I enjoy doing it. I'm very happy. I, I love that I'm considered a professional. Yeah, I, I do sometimes get emotional about it because um, from where I first started with regards to my injury and getting hurt, I, I never knew that I'd be in the position I am right now. One, two, three, five, six, seven, seven one, two. With, with ballroom, how I got into that was uh, Marissa, she's a professional ballroom dancer, and she was looking for a dance partner that was in a, in a chair, in a wheelchair. You know, I didn't know that, you know, I was capable of doing all those things just in a wheelchair with, with regards to dancing and ballroom dancing. Like I said, I have an open mind. You know, maybe when I was younger, like early 20s, I would have said, oh, that's kind of too feminine or something, or just kind of not my style. But I'm at an age already where I want to do anything and everything. You know, I want to experience life. It's something that I could branch out to. Maybe, you know, it'll have other openings for me, you know, open other doors for me. So I was like, you know what, let's give this a shot. This is cool. I'll do it. I'm, I'm very thankful that, you know, this opportunity, the path that I've been presented with. I'm at a point in my life where I, I, I want to experience everything. I want to do everything and anything, you know, before I leave this world. My name is Adelfo Sarami Jr., professional wheelchair bodybuilder and ballroom dancer.